All right, so I've been targeting stripers this week, um, but I have been fishing year round um, every month. Recently, more than I have in the past just because of work. But um, one thing I know about the stripers right now is that they're in salt water and fresh water. Um, there's no you know, set place that there are right now. Like I've caught them pretty far up river, you know, like for as fresh as you can get with water. And I've caught them, you know, close to the inlet and out in the, you know, ocean this time of year. So there's no uh, specific place they are right now. I will say this, one of the big keys with stripers is if you find the bait, you'll find them. Um, the other night when I was out, I saw a ton of spearing, or bay anchovies, some type of like long slender bait fish like that, as well as uh, bunker and herring. So if you could find the bait, you're going to find the stripers. Um, it's just that simple. Now for tonight's video, I'm, I'm not using live bait. It's illegal to use uh, river herring in New Jersey. And I think on the East coast in general, which really sucks. But uh, what I'm going to be using is soft plastics on a VMC half ounce moon jig. So here, just to walk you through the three, uh, three things that I'm going to be using. First, uh, you don't need these jigs. They're a little bit more expensive, but um, I've caught them on plain, you know, lead heads. I mean, I don't think it really matters. You could probably drop shot. You could do a drop shot rig for what I'm doing. But for what I like, I use these guys. <clears throat> You know, they come in packs of four. I think they're like five, six bucks a pack or something like that. It's a little outrageous, but if you tie a good knot and you're not fishing for bluefish with them, then, you know, you don't have an issue. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is tying a 20-pound monofilament leader. Um, you really don't need much. I would say I do about a foot and a half, two feet. Um this time, these type of fish aren't really line shy. You could literally tie it straight to your Power Pro or braid or whatever your line may be. But um, the line I'm using on, on tonight's rods are all light tackle. I mean, it's a Stratic uh, 2500. So, you know, it's it's not a very big reel. So I believe I have 10 pound uh, braid on my, my rod. So I like that little bit of extra weight just in case we run into a uh, bigger striper. Uh, what I'm going to be using primarily are these soft plastics. Oop, just rolled. Uh, Kettle Creek makes these. They're called swing shads. Now, I know if you're looking at this, you're probably saying, well, you know, Bass Pro Shop makes one. It's called a speed shad. And I mean, there's probably millions of companies. Well, maybe not millions, but thousands of companies that make, you know, soft plastics. Um, I just like these just because of the motion. I mean, underwater, this, this thing has a lot of action. Um... Big thing with these though, <clears throat> two types of fishing I'm going to be doing. One is just casting and retrieving and just kind of slow working it back to the boat. Uh, if I do start seeing fish on the bottom, what I'm going to end up doing is just jigging them up. And what I mean by that is, you know, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> get on top of the fish, drop my line down and, uh, you know, jig, jig them up, hopefully. Now, one last thing about these jigs that I really like is they have this little, um, I guess you'd say lock on it, where when I do feed the soft plastic through, <clears throat> it's not easy to pull off. Um, so the final presentation should look something like this. Um, now, this is a three inch. Uh, I know guys that use the five inch or bigger, but for what I'm uh, targeting tonight, you know, I think this is the perfect size bait. So, uh, I'll see you guys out on the boot. All right, so we're finally getting out of the ramp. A uh, few things, if I'm being uh, completely honest with you. If you're doing this type of fishing, a few things you're going to need. First, um, I, I got my power light to help you see at night. Make sure there's no, uh, you know, buoys or anything you're running over. I know where I'm fishing. There's a ton of conch pots out right now, so, you know, you run one of them over and your night's kind of ruined because uh, now your prop's fouled. You got to call someone to tow you back. Uh, another thing, make sure your safety lights, if you see in the front of the boat, I am compliant in the back. 
you know, you can prevent a lot of tragedies if you just follow the rules. Um, and just last but not least, common sense. Just make sure you tell someone where you're going. I made sure my wife knew where we were going tonight. That way, um, you know, anything were to happen, she'd at least know where we are. A few things I want to point out. It, the war temp uh, has definitely dropped a little bit. It's 49.7 right here. Now, we are coming up on uh, incoming tide right now, so it is expected to be a little bit cooler, but, you know, up uh, river I was fishing, you know, a week ago, and I was marking 56 degrees, so that's a, you know, six, seven uh, degree, you know, change or swing, so hopefully that doesn't shut down the bite. It is a little cold out tonight. The wind is kind of whipping, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's bearable. It's only... I want to say it's like 15 miles per hour, which I could deal with. I mean, I could deal with it even more if there's fish for sure. But let's get to that first spot and see what we can't find. All right, if I'm being honest, man, it is not very nice out tonight. I mean, it's pretty goddamn choppy right now. Um, kind of wishing I didn't cut across the bay, but this is gonna be real hard to get back but we'll find out Ooh. little side chop yeah it's it, it turned bad quick I mean it was not bad earlier but within 30 minutes I mean I know it's dark out but I can't even go you know I'm going four miles per hour right now because it's just too damn rough Hopefully, I can make it back to where I came from and find a spot that's tucked out of the wind. What I'm hoping to do is get closer to the sod bank and just hug that on the way back because right now I'm in an open bay and I'm just getting crushed. But it's like a double-edged sword. Closer to the sod bank, there's a sandbar. So it's like... Well, what's the worst of two evils? Getting stuck on a, ooh, on a sandbar or getting beat up? Boy, I'm gonna have to hit that chiropractor tomorrow, man. Ooh, my back's gonna be feeling this. Oh, man. The end is almost near. Just like another quarter mile of this chop. All right, you can say I got across the bay unscathed. Lower back's gonna be a little sore, but uh, while I'm already out here and already got beat up, I'm gonna still keep trying. You know, I do wanna find some fish tonight, so stay tuned, we'll try a different spot. Fish on. Let's go, first fish of the day. Let's go. Ah, oh, it's a little rat. Let's get him in the boat. Ooh. Hey, first fish of the night. See, getting beat up. Oh, it might have been worth it. Let me get him real quick. All right, so good news is we got our first striper of the night. This guy is not a keeper. Um, if we're gonna measure, nah, we ain't gonna measure him, but he, he ain't a keeper. We're gonna get him back in the water. Off he goes. Fish on, let's go, let's go. Ooh, he's got a little bit of fight in him. Let's go. Oh, shoot, hold on. About to hit the bridge, about to hit the bridge. Oh. Yeah, this type of fishing, you definitely wanna Keep your, your motor on and one hand on the wheel. 
All right, time to say goodbye, bud. Let's get another one. Let's get it back out there. I'm just doing a little bit of a twitch, real, real, twitch, twitch. Give it a little bit of action and fish on. Let's go. That little bit of twitch. Let's go. Ooh, that, look at that one. That one was under the chin. Nice job, man. Nice job, Striper. Let's get you back in. All right, get back out in the honey hole. All right, let's try jigging a little bit off the bottom. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of work. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, look at that guy. Holy moly. My lord. That is one ambitious striper. Striper with a diaper, man. Oh, man. Ooh. Long fish. I know there's got to be a hungry striper out there waiting. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Ooh, little rat. No shortage of these guys tonight. Oh, Multi-task. Drive the boat. Get a line out there. Right in the honey hole. I don't know if you can see this, but I mean, this bridge isn't very well lit underneath, and you just gotta be very careful because I could I could easily have banged into one of the pilings multiple times. Ooh, there's a good mark. Come on, striper. Fish on. Let's go. Another rat. Ugh. Oh man, they bit the tail off. I hope the quality of this video comes out a little bit better than my other night videos. My other night videos were very difficult to watch, to be honest with you. Um, just because where I was fishing, there wasn't much light. There we go. Let's go. Damn. A little bit bigger. This definitely isn't like that little guy I caught earlier. I mean, it's definitely not a keeper, but getting bigger. I want to inhale it. I'm going to drop it straight down. See if I can't get one jigging right off the bottom.
fish on. Let's go. Right off the bottom. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, man. That one dropped out of my hand. Getting clumsy. There we go. There we go. First fish on the Kettle Creek swing shad. Let's go. Yeah, this fish is for you, Jay Bells. Look at that, man. True believer. All right, we're getting this guy back where he belongs. All right, Jay Bells, you weren't lying, man. Them Kettle Creeks work. Let's get her back down there, see if we can't find some more. I know there's gotta be a pig out here. There we go, fish on. Man. I really don't want to leave, but my thumb will not stop bleeding. I mean, it's been bad. It's been bleeding for about an hour now. I might have to go leave soon and check that out because I think that fish got me good. Uh, maybe one more cast and we'll call her a night. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have tonight. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if so, throw a comment down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber to the page, please subscribe. All right, see you next time.